Tesla Semi Battery The Tesla Semi is an all-electric battery-powered Class 8 semi-truck in development by Tesla, Inc. Two concept vehicles were unveiled in November 2017, and production is planned in 2023. The company initially announced that the truck would have a 500 miles 805 km range on a full charge, and with its new batteries it would be able to run for 400 miles 640 km. After an 80% charge in 30 minutes using a solar-powered Tesla Mega Charger charging station, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that the Semi would come standard with Tesla Autopilot that allows semi-autonomous driving on highways. History, the Semi was first mentioned in the Tesla 2016 Master Plan. Tesla said at the time that they have a working prototype that uses a bunch of Tesla Model 3 electric motors. As of April 2017, Jerome Gillen had been leading the Tesla Semi program. Gillen was once in charge of Freightliner's Cascadia diesel engine Class 8 Semi before joining Tesla to configure the Model S production line, but left the Semi program a year later to lead one of the Model 3 General Assembly lines and subsequently became Tesla president of automotive in September 2018.8. The new leader for the Semi program has not been publicly announced as of late 2019. The Semi was unveiled at a press conference on November 16, 2017, where Musk provided additional specifics. He claimed that the electric semi would cost 20C slash slash my 12C slash slash km, less to operate than a diesel truck if charged at a mega charger, where Tesla would guarantee a price of 7C slash slash kwh in the United States. If the semi is not charged at a mega charger, the savings would depend on the cost of electricity. The high cost in California, for example, may eliminate the operating cost benefit. In November 2017, Tesla projected that the expected price of regular production versions for the 300-mile, 480km, and 500-mile, 800km range versions would be US$150,000 and US$180,000 respectively. In March 2018, Tesla announced that the semi was being tested with real cargo, hauling battery packs from Nevada to California. In August 2018, a Tesla semi prototype traveled from California alone, without escort or accompanying vehicles, for a week to arrive at the J.B. Hunt headquarters in Arkansas. A toy version of the semi was released in January 2020 as part of the Matchbox Convoy's line with a black truck, box trailer, with a red Model S, a second version was released with a silver truck, trailer with pipes, and forklift. According to Electric Source, Elon Musk revealed the expected capacity of Tesla Semi's battery pack ahead of the start of production, and it is surprisingly smaller than we thought. Back in 2017, Tesla unveiled its plan for an electric semi truck, called the Tesla Semi, and at the time, the automaker announced two options capable of over 300 and 500 miles of range on a single charge. With that kind of efficiency and range, Tesla Semi was expected to have battery packs between 600 kWh and 1 mWh. Now in a new interview with Joe Rogan, CEO's Elon Musk revealed that the Tesla Semi will have a battery pack of around 500 kWh. You want something in the order of probably a 500 kWh pack. What we have in the Model S and X is a 100 kWh pack and probably something like a 500 kWh pack in the Tesla Semi. However, the CEO appears to be talking about a 300-mile version of the electric truck, and he said that the longer-range version would be coming later. In response to Bill Gates' comments about battery electric trucks not being viable, Musk argued that adding the kind of weight that comes with a 500 kWh battery pack is not a problem. He said that it's not a game changer when it comes to the mass, especially if you are using a structural battery pack as Tesla unveiled at Battery Day last year. A new Tesla Semi prototype was recently spotted, and the automaker plans to start production with a few deliveries later this year. Musk recently said that the Tesla Semi would be produced at Gigafactory Texas in Austin. But we have also seen indications that Tesla is gearing up to have some production of the Tesla Semi at Gigafactory, Nevada. Tesla Semi Truck The latest developments Tesla has been moving slowly towards its Class 8 electric semi truck production goals since the company's official unveiling on November 16, 2017.
the Tesla Semi program has now reportedly been moved into the limited production phase. This limited production is taking place at a new purpose-built building at Gigafactory, Nevada, which is also home to Tesla's battery cell production. Tesla enthusiast Sawyer Merritt, who is connected to some sources at Giga Nevada, recently reported that Tesla's big truck production has finally begun at this location. The latest aerial drone footage of Giga Nevada earlier this month shows a Tesla semi-truck making test runs on the dedicated test track built around its manufacturing building. Tesla has set up a dedicated mega-charging station for the semi at Giga Nevada as well. This is where the automaker is testing and calibrating the charging technology for the huge battery pack inside the Tesla Semi. A plan for building a network of megachargers across the US and Europe trucking rest stops is also underway. This will give the over-the-road drivers ease of charging on the way to their logistics destinations and back. This initial batch of early production Tesla Semis will likely be going to PepsiCo because recently PepsiCo CEO's Ramon Laguarda said that his company will be getting the first few Tesla semis at the end of this year. The absence of DOT stickers and manufacturer license plates on these newly spotted Tesla semis also suggests that these trucks are actually production versions for Tesla customers. Just like the Cybertruck, the Tesla Semi also has a large backlog of orders from both large and small companies along with individual customers. Just recently, Carat Packaging bought 10 Tesla Semis for its fleet. The big question on everyone's mind, at least on the minds of those who understand the freight transportation industry, is how much the Tesla Semi might weigh. If Tesla's all-electric semi-truck is to be competitive at all, it must be capable of carrying the same loads as current-use semi-trucks in the Class 8 field do. A big point of contention from naysayers and those in the trucking industry who understand logistics was the lack of announcement of the Tesla Semi's actual weight plenty of press was given to the much-touted 80,000-pound capacity. Number banded around by CEOs Elon Musk during the truck's unveiling late last year. That number, however, refers only to the gross vehicle weight, GVW, of the Tesla Semi and is, in fact, exactly the same number used by every Class 8 truck on the road. They're called Class 8s, in fact, because the 8 refers to that 80,000-pound total vehicle capacity. What wasn't given by Tesla was the gross vehicle tear weight, GVTW, of the Semi. This is a far more important number where the GVW gives the total capacity of the truck in terms of how much its freight plus the truck itself can weigh. The GVTW gives just the weight of the truck, sans trailer and freight. This number tells logistics experts how much actual freight and trailer the truck can haul legally. For example, a typical day cab configuration 18-wheeler with a diesel engine weighs roughly 32,000 pounds with a relatively lightweight box trailer attached and full fuel tanks. That leaves about 48,000 pounds of freight capacity for the truck. That's important because, although the truck won't be loaded to capacity every time, it will be expected to be capable of carrying up to about that weight. Most big rigs on the road are capable of hauling 44,000 or more pounds worth of freight, depending on configuration and trailer type. Having experience with driving commercial trucks in the past, once hauling a refrigerated trailer that had a freight capacity of 44,500 pounds, I learned that some industries count on freight capacity as part of their logistics costs and will literally fill a truck to its maximum in order to minimize those costs. In logistics, weight and total freight capacity are highly important metrics in the overall scheme.